Welcome to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. Now that the trailer and details for Star Wars Squadrons has been released, I thought I'd expand upon some of the things I'm looking forward to with the game, as well as touch on some of the things I'd like to see in the game. First, let's talk about some of the things I'd like to see, specifically in regards to the story mode, which is what I'm actually most excited about with Squadrons. The story mode will take place following the Battle of Endor and the destruction of the second Death Star, and players are going to play as pilots for the New Republic Vanguard Squadron and the Imperial Imperial Titan Squadron. Players will see some familiar faces make appearances, along with a diverse cast of original characters specific to the game's story. We already know that our homies Harrison Dula and Wedge Antilles are going to make appearances, but who are some other characters that we might be able to see pop into the story mode? Since the game is going to take place after the Battle of Endor, as mentioned in my previous video, characters in Alphabet Squadron and Shadowfall are absolutely fair game. Characters such as Erica Quell, Will Lark, Nath Tanzit, Chasna Chaddock, Karen Aiden, and Colonel Shakara Nares could find their way into the story. Additionally, we may also see characters from the Aftermath trilogy pop up in the story. Snap and Nora Wegsley, Jace Amari, Sinjar Rath Velas, along with Admirals Galeus Rax and Ray Sloan could appear in the game in some capacity. If Mr. Bones somehow made an appearance, I would be beyond elated by that because Mr. Bones is a ridiculously fun character. There's always the possibility that characters such as Leia, Han, Luke, and maybe even Mon Mothma find their way into the story, but I'm not sure how likely that'll be. I really enjoyed the Aftermath trilogy as well as Alphabet Squadron, and both of those take place right around the same time period that we're going to be exploring in Star Wars Squadrons, so any appearances by characters from those books would be absolutely welcomed. There have been plenty of stories of Imperials defecting to the Rebellion or the New Republic cause, such as with Erika Quell in Alphabet Squadron and Aiden Versio in Battlefront 2, so I'm hoping that's not something that the game focuses on with the Imperial portion of the story. Rather, I'm hoping that the Imperial side of the story shows how ruthless the imps are, how hellbent they are at revenge for the destruction of the second Death Star, and their waning attempt to defeat the Rebellion slash New Republic. I think it'd also be cool to see high-ranking Imperial officers jockeying for power amongst each other, backstabbing and sabotaging one another in an attempt to obtain power now that Palpatine is dead. That's something that I think might be a long shot, however, as I think the story will focus more on the pilots and grunts of the conflict rather than the internal strife amongst Imperial High Command, but you never know. Since the game is going to feature both a story mode and a multiplayer mode, I'm hoping we get something like 12 to 15 hours of gameplay time, so fingers crossed. As for the multiplayer, I'm very curious and intrigued about this, but not as excited for this portion of the game as I am with the story mode. Since the game is going to be cross-platform, players will be able to play with individuals across various gaming platforms platforms, which I'm a big fan of since I'm a PC gamer. The multiplayer mode will be a 5v5 space battle with a goal of destroying the opposing faction's fighters and flagship, and the press release hints at squads formulating a strategy of attack before the fleet battle begins, but I'm not sure what exactly that will look like. The closest reference point I have for that is the 4v4 death matches in Star Wars The Old Republic, where we get something like a minute to a minute and a half before the match begins to talk strategy. Sometimes though, organizing a strategy with random individuals is like pulling teeth, so I'm not entirely sure how that's going to work in squadrons, if that's something that will be featured. Additionally, I'm hoping that, along with the five individuals on each team, there's going to be NPC fighters in the space battle, which will hopefully add to the chaos and mayhem of a dogfight. I think there's the possibility that the multiplayer mode could be fun, however, pilot games usually aren't my thing, so I have to wait and see if the multiplayer player portion of the game will wind up being my jam. All in all, I'm definitely looking forward to Star Wars Squadrons. Jedi Fallen Order is one of, if not, my all-time favorite story-driven games, and while I'm not expecting Squadrons to exceed Fallen Order, I have high hopes that Squadrons will provide a quality story. But what do you guys think? What are you looking forward to the most in the game? And what are some things or characters you're hoping to see once the game's released? Let us know down in the comments. Want more Star Wars content? Check out some of our other videos. Please like and subscribe and stay nerdy.